Well, hello there. Mark Risen Hopkins here with another edition of Crypto Pulse. In the world of cryptocurrency, volatility is the name of the game, and Bitcoin is no stranger to sudden price movements. In a shocking turn of events, Bitcoin's price on BitMEX took a nosedive to eight nine hundred dollars late Monday, a level not seen since early 2020. This flash crash was driven by large sell orders worth fifty-five and a half million dollars, causing a temporary yet significant dip in the market. What's intriguing is that while BitMEX experienced this dramatic drop, other exchanges maintained Bitcoin prices well above the $60,000 mark. The price plummeted from around $67,400 to $8,900 in just two minutes, according to TradingView data. However, the recovery was swift, with prices bouncing back to $67,000 shortly after. Social media was abuzz with speculation, with some users suggesting that whale selling was behind the crash. A user named Essike claimed that over 850 BTC were sold on BitMEX, triggering the price collapse. BitMEX, known for its billion-dollar derivatives markets, saw only its spot market affected by this event. In response to the incident, BitMEX stated that they are investigating the large sell orders and assured users that their systems were operating normally. They identified aggressive selling behavior involving a small number of accounts, which deviated significantly from expected market ranges. BitMEX reassured users that the trading platform is functioning normally and that all funds are secure. In news related to the larger dip in the midst of this bull run, updated Bitcoin price predictions are starting to roll in and the spotlight is now on Bitcoin ETFs, which have recently seen record inflows. According to 10x Research, the performance of these ETFs in the coming days could be a crucial determinant for Bitcoin's price trajectory. Last week, U.S. listed spot Bitcoin ETFs witnessed an unprecedented influx of $2.6 billion, propelling Bitcoin to new all-time highs near $74,000. However, the momentum slowed towards the end of the week, with net inflows dropping to $133 million and $198 million on Thursday and Friday, respectively. As a result, Bitcoin's price took a hit, dipping below 65000 over the weekend. While Bitcoin found some stability at $67,000, the true test lies ahead. Marcus Thielen, the founder of 10x Research, suggests that Monday and Tuesday will be critical for Bitcoin's price. If ETF inflows fall short of expectations, we could see a continuation of the current correction, potentially driving the price down to as low as $59,000. This would represent a further 10% decline from current levels. Despite the possibility of a deeper correction, it's important to note that the crypto bull market is far from over. If Bitcoin can reclaim the $70,000 mark, surpassing its previous all-time high, it could pave the way for even greater heights in the coming months. In fact, Standard Chartered recently raised its year-end Bitcoin price target to $150,000 with a bold prediction of $250,000 by 2025. Turning from crypto to AI, NVIDIA this week is doing their big GTC vendor show, so most of the current AI news is pretty weighted towards them, including a lengthy interview piece by Harry McCracken with the CEO. In the interview... NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang draws a fascinating parallel between the transformative power of electricity in the 1920s and the role of NVIDIA's AI technology today. With an 85% market share in AI chips, NVIDIA's influence extends far beyond hardware. The company is deeply involved in various industries, from drug discovery to retail, ensuring that AI is put to practical use. At the GTC 2024 conference, Huang highlighted robotics as a key theme, showcasing NVIDIA's products and their real-world applications. His statement that the chat GPT moment for robotics might be just around the corner underscores the potential for significant advancements in this field. NVIDIA's journey from pioneering GPUs for 3D gaming to becoming an AI powerhouse is a testament to its adaptability and foresight. The company's early embrace of programmable GPUs laid the groundwork for its later success in AI. Huang's vision has been vindicated as NVIDIA's technology has become central to AI research and applications. Other key announcements from the show include their unveiling of its new Blackwell series of AI chips, led by the GB200 chip, which offers a significant performance boost with 20 petaflops in AI performance. The GB200, designed specifically for transformer-based AI, is set to ship later this year. Alongside the hardware, NVIDIA, a software package called NIM, 
aimed at simplifying AI deployment. That's all the news that's fit to print for today's Merge Pulse update. Keep questioning, keep learning, and until next time, stay curious.